Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming and swinging by. We're gonna play some more Sonic. But actually, there's not much Sonic left. Uh, we have two games that we have not played, uh, not accounting for Blue Sphere, which is just the bonus zone uh, from uh, Sonic 2, which we played in Sonic 2. We have Flicky and Rystar left, uh, neither of which is actually a Sonic game. Uh, Flicky uh, predates Sonic, uh, and Rystar, I believe, postdates Sonic. But they are both uh, Sega properties of the Sonic era uh, that may have had influence or been influenced by uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. So, I figure we'll start out with Flicky. Uh, now, if you are if you are familiar with Sonic, you may recognize the Flickies as the little birds that get turned into robots in Sonic that you gotta rescue. Uh, but they originated in Flicky the game, I believe. Catch all the little birdies and lead them to the exit. Watch out for Tiger the Cat and Izzy, Iggy the Lizard. Uh, Flicky is a Sega's classic masterpiece. Many people may recognize the little birds called Flickies from various Sonic games. They were one of the helpless creatures trapped within Dr. Eggman's insidious robots that Sonic freed from captivity. Let's take a look at the manual. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Coolest little bird you ever saw. Join the adventures of Flicky, a fun-loving little blue bird who drives cats everywhere crazy. Move Flicky up, down, and all around, and take the yellow chirps to the door, where they'll be safe from those fer ferocious felines and slimy lizards. Let's see. Uh, let's just talk about the logo. Alright, we got our, our current score, our high score. That's a, t that's a tiger, I guess. I re I, I'm trying really hard. This is not a high quality scan. Okay, we got remaining players down there. We got the current round. We got a chirp. There's the door. There's like an elephant there that's just unlabeled. And there's a bonus round. Alright, run for cover. Flicky must find all of the chirps in each round and take them to the door with exit written above it. Watch out for the hungry tiger cats and Iggy lizards. Jump from level to level, grabbing chirps and dodging enemies. There are also items found on various levels that Flicky can throw at the tigers and Iggies. See items. In each of the first two rounds, there are six chirps Flicky has to rescue. Every normal round thereafter has eight of the chirps. You can take one chirp at a time to the door if you want. Each one is worth 100 points. There are special bonus points available, though, if Flicky can take a group or possibly all of the chirps to the door at the same time. As Flicky moves about, he can pick up one of the items to throw at oncoming foes. The items may be anything from telephones to flower pots, cups, or bottles. To hurl one at a cat or lizard, press button A, B, or C. Make sure Flicky is facing the direction of the enemy. Diamonds that are worth bonus points will also appear from time to time. They're small, so watch for them as you play. For the bonus round, tigers use seesaws to propel chirps skyward. Flicky must move side to side and catch as many as possible using his net. The more he catches, the higher his bonus will. It's interesting. I, the, the, there's definitely less proofreading in this one. If Flicky brings just one chirp to the door at a time, each one is worth 100 points. If you're good enough to grab a group of chirps, the point value increases as shown in this chart. Okay. More chirps, better. If Flicky rescues four chirps, a total of 1,000 points is added to your score. 100, 200, 300, 400. A time bonus is also available. If they're around in under a minute, you receive points as shown in the chart. Holy shit, 19 seconds for 20,000 points. In the bonus round, each chirp Flicky catches is worth 250 points. You'll receive a 10,000 point bonus if our little hero manages to haul in all 20 chirps. Tips from the top. Take as many chirps in a group to the door as you can and watch your score soar. Perfect your catching technique and get that perfect bonus in every bonus round. 
is to handle the, the Sega Genesis television. The Sega Genesis cartridge on your projection television. It's a much shorter manual. Alright, so our control stick is move, and then any button is jump. Sounds good. Let's give it a try. I'm having that ghost sing. Hold on, I'm gonna disable that. Oh, that is a soundtrack. We disable the anti-flickering. So we don't need it when we're not on the main screen. Alright. Help Flicky Guide Chirp to the door. Press button to jump and shoot. Rack up a super score. Got it. Oh, this is... Oh, I've definitely played this. Okay, it's, it's a loop. Oh, oops. Gotta get those guys up there. So slidey. Thing I was trying to throw it. Damn it. That's a that's a tiger vent. Okay. Alright, I can do this. is very doable. That was unnecessarily risky. But bada bing bada boom. Oh that was 18 seconds, so I did get the 20,000 point bonus. Alright. So I do have to kind of jump to get them. That flashing score is... Oh, shit. Fuck. Bonus round. I don't think it's possible to get all of these. Okay. Well, I didn't necessarily want to turn them in, but that's fine. I'm not going for the highest score here. I'm going for not losing. Ah! I thought I could throw that fast enough. Well, <laughs> I'll take that. Hello. Let me just turn these in. Oh, uh, that was dangerous. Oh. There we go. This one is... Oh, this is interesting. I want to have cool sunglasses. 
Ah, damn it. Alright, last life. God, they really do not stand out. Ah, fuck. That was pretty good, though. That was round five. Hi, Figoria, welcome. Let's do one more, let's do one more run of Flicky. I don't think there's a lot to... A lot to talk about here. It's like, this isn't the most arcade game of all the games we've played so far. Um, the contrast is uh, leaving something to be desired. Oh shit, they can turn around. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. But yeah, this is very much like... You can tell this is from Sega's arcade era. Where it was... The name of the game was High Score. And, uh... It's certainly much less complex, I would say. Oh, there's the elephant we saw! It's like a little painting. Um, yeah, it, it's certainly less less complex than Sonic the Hedgehog would prove to be. Uh, but like, especially a lot of the stuff we saw in the manual for for Sonic One feels very at home. Fuck. Feels very at home in this style of game. Right? Like, it. You can see the roots. Which I think is really interesting. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, it's. This is really neat. I remember playing that a lot as a. as a kid. On this collection, I played a lot of Flicky and did that, like, score competition with my siblings. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Maria, how are you doing today? Nice Wednesday and a nice hot shower when I woke up. It's a little chilly, so I can wear a sweater. Uh, before we jump into Rise Star, uh, let's take a look at... Apologies for the, the flashing on the main screen. Uh, let's take a look at some of the last extras we have. Which is, we've talked about the, uh, we, we've read all, all the firsts, uh, for Sonic. But there's a lot of comic covers that we can take a look at. So this is the first issue. Archie Comics number one. A dollar twenty-five US, one fifty Canadian. You can see, we got Robotnik, we got the, the drill. I wanted. I almost said Drillber, but that's a Pokemon. Uh, there we go. It's Crab Meat. It's my my boy Crab Meat. Got Princess Sally, Arch Archideld, the Walrus guy, Caterkiller. See all our characters on that first page. Number two. Wanted Sonic the Hedgehog. Join the Robotnik's rats. We squeal for real. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we just checked the other comics on the rack. This is the one you want. Wild. The all new, all different, grittier, darker Sonic the Hedgehog. And he's a chimney sweep. <laughs> Some hero cleaning chimneys. What do you want? A suit, a soot sweeper, or a sweet suitor? That's funny. I love, I, especially with. That's a great, like, title for. <laughs> fucking release four, volume four. 
of your of your thing to say the all new, all different, grittier, darker Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, robotics design in the comics is crazy. Oh, check your smoke detector. Sonic the Hedgehog, it's the hottest title on the shelf and it's going fast. In this issue, Olympic trial and error. Have a supersonic holiday season. Right, because this is January. Uh, Sonic Spinball. <laughs> I told you this is a comic book tie-in, so he has to wear a tie. That's really interesting. Getting to look at this one when we've played all the games that are they're tying into. Best seller list. I'm a speed reader. What a novel idea. What do we got? War and Peace, Moby Dick, Scaramouche, Kidnapped, Ulysses, The Three Musketeers. Sonic the Hedgehog leaves the competition in the dust. Got a little, little angry Eggman up in the corner. Sonic the Hedgehogs. Oh, is that Metal Sonic, maybe? A Pseudo-Sonic. Ooh, strange. I wonder if they developed that into Metal Sonic, or if it's a, it's a separate character. Freeze Frame. I love Crab Meat. I just want to say, out of all the characters, Crab Meat is the best character. This is my guy. This is my guy. He knows what's up. Look at him. Look at him. That's crab meat. Alright. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, we're, this is back to number one. There we go. This is number 11. Archie Adventure Series, number 11 in June. Tails goes undercover. And he's under a magazine for comic. Robotnik Inc. We love to pollute, and it shows. <laughs> I'm not just a cut up, I'm a cut out. Trap for him, little wily coyote trap. Uh, the piano's on fire because he played the minute waltz in seven seconds. I wish these were these were something we could get, but I, I understand at the time of the release of this mega collection, these were still coming out, so they wanted you to actually go buy the comics. They didn't want to just include all of them. So they included those, those four stories we saw in the uh, Sonic Firsts. The Robotropolis Motor Speedway. Now hold on, what does it say? In this issue... Knuckles from Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Write your own Sonic story. Details inside. Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails. Oops, now my name is Mud. <laughs> I, I love that, like, the comics went hard that, like, Dr. Robotnik's whole shtick is that he loves to cause pollution. Like, he loves to dump toxic waste, he loves to cause pollution. Because especially if you think about the Sonic Bible, the, like, Sonic, um, like, character Bible, essentially, um, which it, it, parts of are used everywhere in Sonic, but, uh, nowhere uses all of it. Um, I think it's, it's really interesting to see what gets used because the whole point is that the chaos emeralds are supposed to be um manifestations of of disgust and pollution like every gross thing is is in the chaos emeralds uh there is a big a good breakdown of this in brian david gilbert's uh uh perfect sonic game i forget what it's called the um but the the unraveled where he talks about sonic um, 
where like this is this is the mo this is the original mo of eggman is that he's like pollution guy he turns stuff into robots and he pollutes and i feel like the pollution doesn't come through a lot i don't know i haven't played the new sonic whatever the new open world one is so i don't know if they they get back to that but yeah like the whole point in in the comics at least and from the character bible is that he is he has been corrupted by the chaos emeralds to be like a pollution man confused you won't be once you've digested this issue sonic under glass what is that 800 ton robot ape Got a little King Kong action with Princess Sally. Oh shit, Sonic and Sally are getting wedding. Getting wedding? Are getting married? Will Sonic really marry Sally? Not before Dr. Robotnik gives them a case of wedding bell blues. Yeah, Eggman is a is a manifestation of of pollution and disgust. That is that is his purpose, his role in this universe. Right, especially like um there's the whole thing where like he turns animals into robots, so he's literally like corrupting nature with the unnatural. Um which is, I, I think, a cool, like, theme and metaphor to have. Um, but it's, it's pursued inconsistently, just depending on who's writing the stories. Um, which is fine, because it's, obviously this is a character who has been written by so many different, uh, different people. We got Knight of a Thousand Sonics. This, this is a statue? Yes, it's a statue. Okay, thank god. Oh shit, Sonic's dead. Holy shit. <laughs> they fucking killed him in, in issue 20. Oh my god. He's fucking dead. It's a memorial. Sonic the Hedgehog caught between a rock and a hard place. He's in space, it looks like. This is one of his good days. Huh. Dr. Robotnik shooting a robot from the shadows. But th that is definitely the design of... We saw these uh, in the uh, in the first. These are uh, the design of robots that serve him, at least at that point. That's interesting. What the fuck? Oh, is this where they have to, like, team up? Dr. Robotnik Freedom Fighter? Yeah. I'm facing the most horrible fate in the universe. Trapped with the Hedgehog. I hate to burst your, burst your bubble, Doc, but you're not my dream date either. Some sort of space... Space... Overlord. Uh oh, we got Evil Sonic is back. And Evil Tails and Evil Sally. Oh, shit. Here's Mecha Sonic. So we had Pseudo Sonic, Evil Sonic, now Mecha Sonic. This looks like Metal Sonic. This has got to be a proto Metal Sonic. Sonic CD adaptation. Yeah, this is absolutely Metal Sonic. Because Sonic CD was the introduction of Metal Sonic, yeah? Uh, way, way past cool. So he gets Freeze Raid. Oh, this is a fun... Uh, the Mobius Free Press. This is a fun layout. Sonic the Hedgehog goes hog wild. 
Oh, I want to try and read all this text. Sonic Triple Trouble introduction said. He was my best friend, cries something. The Crocodile, Chaotix. Oh, absolutely. This is, uh, this is Vector the Crocodile being mentioned there. The barcode is over it. Knuckles Chaotix. After Ken Penders reports, I will pencil the cover of Sonic number 27. And John Diego Seaman replies, I will ink your pencils. Huh. This is, uh... Does Sonic get brain brainwashed? Got the Freedom Fighters right where I... <laughs> where you want them. And then there's... Bunny Rabot, and Tails, and... Now finish them off. Finish them off, okay. In, in my brain, I combined out and off because it is not clear from this zoom level. Yeah, so that must be he's got some sort of mind control on Sonic. Uh-oh, is there like a Robo... Sally? Robotification activated. A roboticization, I forget. Who's this? It's like a dinosaur? Yeah, gonna ro robotize... Sally, what? Hmm? That might be Pseudo Sonic, wearing a little disguise. It's interesting also to see that like the 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 covers have changed. They're now just art. Like they're not having the little the little blurbs on the covers anymore. Because we've we've gone we're like a, a few years in now, so that must be like a trend. Just a comic book cover trend. Knuckle solo story inside. Oh boy. Oh, another one. Another Knuckle solo story. Yeah, because now we're just getting the art. It's like dog robot. There's the the mustachioed pseudo Sonic. Yeah, and we don't have, in the top left, we don't have the, uh, the little micro, like, micro comics, the, like, uh, was it the Bubba Joe? Like, the little, the bubblegum wrapper comics. We don't have those anymore. Goodness. You'll never guess where Sonic battles this time. Uh, it looks like inside the tummy of a big monster, I would guess. Sonic the Hedgehog, it looks like Pseudo-Sonic is evil again. The, the eyebrows and mustache are too funny. Seizes the ring. What's that in the background? It's like masks, it looks like. Wild. Uh, excuse me? Is Sonic meets a horseman of the apocalypse? Like, what, what the fuck is this? It's like Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Like, what is this? Bunny Rabot solo story. We got Pseudo Sonic. I guess Pseudo Sonic is like a side character now, like a, a recurring side character. Get Tails solo story inside. There's oh, there's like plant robots in the background. Wild. Mecha Madness starts here. Yeah, so this is I would assume Metal Sonic or Mecha Sonic as they've referred to him in the comic. Looks like maybe Sonic is in cyberspace? Or in the Matrix or something? That is... is that big? Doesn't feel like big. It's the right colors for big, but... I don't know. Not, I mean, not big enough, for one thing. I wonder who that character is. Alright, now we're back. 
but uh, there it is. We got a skunk character, and uh, the, the the clawing hands of the damned. At our crew, that what a wild pose. Knee up in front of his face, running. Those hands. What are these hands? What what are these hands doing? What is this? This like weird, like claw position. That's so strange. Got a bit of a bit of a sepia filter. That looks like a younger Archibald. I don't think his name is Archibald. It's something else. But it's it's like that. So this is this is maybe a, a look into the past of a conflict between a fucking Archideld and and Eggman. Oh man, we've got is that evil Sonic? Or like cool Sonic? Well Sonic's already way past cool, so. And then we get a Evil Knuckles has a beret. <laughs> Some sort of big caveman. We saw this character on as part of a horde, uh, or at least a similar character uh, on a previous cover. Uh, there's that skunk character again. Oh goodness, this is it. The ultimate battle begins here. End game part one of four. Oh my god, Sonic is Marvel Universe. In 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 June of like 1995, Sonic became part of the Marvel Universe. And game part 2, Sonic the Fugitive. What? Hold on. Sonic the Hedgehog Sally falls presumably to her death. Sonic the Fugitive. End game part two. The hunt is on. He's got fucking chains. Did he get arrested for Sally's murder? Like, what is this? This is cool as hell. Sonic the Hedgehog. There's the dragon character. The, like, dragon dinosaur character. This is end game part three. Is that the skunk character from behind? Or is that a different character? I can't tell. He's like hunting dogs. Sonic the Hedgehog 50. Endgame part 404. Yeah, Alright. 51. Sonic the Hedgehog Victory. Oh, we got, like, confetti and stuff. That's fun. We got Amy in the back there. Uh, I'm assuming it's Amy. This is post-Sega CD, so... Uh, she would be around. I'm trying to make out what is happening in the bottom right-hand corner. And, uh, I, for the life of me, I cannot. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog has a cool noir detective. He's got a pocket watch, that's how you know he rules. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, guess who's coming to dinner? There's some sort of duck. This is in the foreground. A strange, looks like maybe like a vial of something being held by a weird green hand. Like bearing down over them. Sonic the Hedgehog, there, that other, like, human character is Robotnik's, like, peon, I think. There's our eyebrowed, mustachioed Suno Sonic again. We got a monkey. Hello, monkey. With, it looks like a, a yin yang symbol. Oh boy, this could, uh, this could be insensitively depicted, depending, based on the year this came out. And monkey people 
are on thin ice, usually in depictions. Alright, here we go. This is... We got Supersonic, we got Knuckles, and some sort of, like, pollution torch, it looks like, maybe? Presumably something that, uh... That Eggman did. It looks like they're underwater, almost. Just with the, the like, sort of blobs and stuff. Ah, here we go. Good old-fashioned Sonic riding on Tails' plane. He should not be gripping there. That's way too close to the propeller. He should be gripping further out on the wing. Or on the back side of, of the top wing. That's, uh, that's not safe. There you go. There's some sort of giant robot they're all climbing. It's Sonic and Knuckles and... Well, and Tails and... Who is that? Who is this? That's not pseudo-Sonic, because he doesn't have the... Big bushy eyebrows. Yes, or it could be a staff instead of a torch. But he doesn't have the book bushy eyebrows or mustache, so who is that? And it's like a slightly different color, so maybe it's just a different hedgehog. Huh. Could be a bear. The ears are a little more rounded. There's still a point to him. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a better view in a later issue. You know, I have no idea who these chuckle fucks are, but they're fighting over a game controller and some pizza. So maybe that's supposed to be us. And a camera. Yeah, because they're in the TV, so... This is... This is a... A cross... This is like a meta one. Here we go. Here's some more... Looks like outer space shenanigans. There's that same sort of like blobby green stuff that we saw with the torch or staff. And the other cover. So similar source. There's our monkey character again. Something's on fire here in the bottom left. Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, who's that? Wearing the fancy hat. Uh, that. There's another character in the bottom who's like water skiing on a crocodile. Oh! Danger in Down Under, so that they're going to Australia in this one. Again, high, high potential for some insensitivity in writing. Um, I don't know, maybe that's a Tasmanian devil or something. Although they're from Tasmania, not Australia. There we go, good old fashioned classic. Sonic going fast and tails flying. A statue of Sonic holding a, a flag or a banner. Talk about being put on a pedestal. Oh, what is he? He's conquered over... This looks like some sort of severed robot part. At last. Ixis Nogus. Ah, of course. We've all been waiting for the introduction of Ixis Nogus. Looks like perhaps the, uh, the person responsible for all this green polluting nonsense. So I wonder if, if Eggman has officially graduated to, like, begrudging ally at this point. Because he does take that role in many of the, the GameCube Sonic games. At least at the end. So you can Sonic the Hedgehog got some sort of like human scientist there who is nate morgan so maybe that's nate morgan or maybe this creature down at the bottom is nate morgan i would assume it's the the human looking person some sort of scientist of some description yeah because this is this is ixis nogus oh no sonic's been defeated by ixis nogus Sonic the Hedgehog with a cool cowboy hat. There's our scientist in the bottom right again. They went, they went so detailed on every wrinkle on this man's face. Happy birthday, Sonic. Saving Sally from danger. Hope you survive the experience. 
hold on. It was, oh, it's just the world's most way past cool headshot. Just saw the little super title. Juice Joint Jeopardy. What does that even mean? I like how they have a little emblem, a little Sonic emblem under the Archie uh, little stamp there in the corner. Facing the fury of Kodos. Oh no! Not Kodos! Probably the strangest Sonic issue you will ever read. The end begins now. Was oh, that 3D Sonic coming at us? 2D Sonic's disappearing, we're getting 3D Sonic? Ah, uh, Eggman on the monitor is ha ha ha! Sonic the Hedgehog, back in bigness. Back in business. Best in the biz. Oh. Wasn't done looking for this. There we go. Here he is in space, and he does need a spacesuit this time. With Sally and Tails. Above and beyond. And some of the other characters that we've seen, but not, uh, we don't know the names of. Sonic the Hedgehog, 75. Me? Me? Us? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, now we're getting the the new Robotnik design. This is this is the uh, Sonic Adventure Robotnik design. Doctor Robotnik returns. Need we say more? Yeah. So they've 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 fully transitioned from the the old classic Robotnik to. Uh, to the more modern Robotnik. There's our dragon character with a, a very weird tongue and teeth. Oh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog Homecoming. He really is in the Marvel Universe. We got Endgame, we got Homecoming. New beginning? Wait, hold on. Guaranteed to keep you entertained throughout the millennium. Y2K, okay. Listen, everything, all, all our technology is gonna break with Y2K, but you will still be able to read this comic because it is physical media. I, I love issuing a stamp on a comic that says, Don't worry, this won't break with Y2K. Amazing. So this was uh, January of uh, 2000, I assume. Uh, it could have been January of 1999, but that feels a little weird. So we got the Dreamcast Sonic Adventure tie-in. So we got Amy there. It's like one of the Chaos Emeralds. There's Big. Hi, Big. Maybe what we saw earlier was like a proto Big. Think my lawyer. There's Big and Froggy. Another tie-in with the uh, Sonic Adventure. Oh, is that Chaos? We got Sonic and Knuckles here. That looks like Chaos. We got the floating brain in the in the yeah, and then um, fuck, why can't I remember the robot's name ever? But the robot from Sonic Adventure. We're getting the Sonic Adventure time yet, so that's oh, I should think my loiter. Thank you. Why can't I remember the name? Of the robot. Yeah, here we get Sonic fighting Chaos. And this is, what is it, original chaos? Or something like super form of chaos that you fight in that game?
There we go. We got supersonic knuckles. It looks like the shadow of original chaos. Okay, this is like a fighting game. 10 hit combo with uh, Metal Sonic, it looks like. Uh, we got Metal Sonic is back. Hey, didn't I beat you last month? Not exactly. Oh no! Sonic and Tails in some sort of lava zone. Uh, looks like he's stuck in one of those, like, roboticization pods. Negative relations. Yeah, there's... Proto... or not Proto, Pseudosonic. Yeah, uh-oh, fart cam. Sonic the Hedgehog besieged. Sally looks like she's turned against him here. There's, there's something going on with the characters in the background that I can't quite make out. That's like the skunk character, I think. And then some sort of living cereal box. <laughs> oh, cool. The leaf goes right over it, so it says Sonic the Edgehog. That's how you know it's serious. It's Sonic the Edgehog. Or like camo. So who is this fucking OC? Wild. Okay, I don't this. I don't think this is Ixis Nagus again. I think this is a different creature. That Sonic is beaten the hell out of. This is... Oh, this is our monkey character, but like big and with big super glowing eyes. Also in this issue, Sonic Shuffle, official Dreamcast pre-adaptation. Uh-oh. But he's pointing at Sonic. And is gray. I was gonna say they were all wearing gloves, but looking in the background, it looks like everyone is fully gray. Maybe they've been transformed by something. Sign of the Hedgehog back to school. Oh my god! This is an OC! This is an OC! She's wearing a Hello Kitty thing on her skirt! This is just someone's OC. I mean, I guess the difference between OC and, and actual official character just depends on whether you work on it whether you're working on the product. But like, look at this. This is someone's fan character. Like she's even drawn in like an anime style compared to the other two. Even compared to like the other female characters like Sally and, and Amy. Like this is, this is some, this is some like school sketchbook, some middle school sketchbook style I wonder if there is actually if there was like a like a competition to get your your character in one of the comics or something because this very much does look like that it, right especially with the Hello Kitty pin going to not not whole high and then they have an excuse to never write about your character again because they're just like oh you're in high school and Sonic's doing the cool shit Sonic looks like trapped in some sort of web. 10th anniversary of Sonic. Oh my god, but she's back! She They didn't write her out! She's back! Oh my goodness! That's I need to know more about this character. Uh-oh. We got we got cool Dark Sonic under the hood. 
It looks like a cryopod. Is this like Sonic gets sent to the future or something? And then he has to do the Superman thing where he spins the Earth real fast so he goes back in time. There's Eggman in his, in his thing. This is actually, this is a really cool shot of Eggman. I love how they stylized this. This is a very, very cool rendering style for Eggman in the cop cockpit of his egg flyer or whatever it's called. I really like how they shaded that. Yeah, this is the Sonic Adventure 2 adaptation. So the shadow is presum presumably Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh, is Sonic falling in love with the OC? I, I think Sonic's falling in love with the fan character. And, and Sally's feeling feeling bummed about it. I guess they never did get married in that one issue. Sonic 100. Got the grayed out other Sonic covers in the background. Also, yeah, Arch Archidel has not showed up for a while. I wonder if they killed him off. Or if they just wrote him out. That is... Oh! I think I know who that is. I think that might be Rystar. Though I didn't think had a, a strong connection to the Sonic universe, but I might be wrong. I don't know. It could also just be, like, a weird... So no, wait, hold on, that's Knuckles. He's got the Lego shoes. Why does he look like that? Is that Super Knuckles? <laughs> I was like, wait, who is this mysterious character? And it's like, oh no, he's got the Lego shoes. That's, that's Knuckles. Sonic the Hedgehog gotta go boom. Uh-oh, this is a cool-ass cover. This is really good. They've changed the emblem to the uh, the Sonic Adventure emblem. Sonic the Hedgehog Quantum Leap. Cool. Cool crossover with Quantum Leap, the TV show. It's definitely what it is. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, oh, that is hard to experience. I wonder if this was like a like a lenticular cover or something. And that's why it looks like this. We've got some sort of, like, Overlord Eggman. Okay, we've got, we've got just more human characters. So I wonder if this is, this is when we get the, the Mobius that we see in, like, Sonic 06. That sort of world with, like, I guess Sonic 06 doesn't have Maria. Maria is in Sonic Adventure. Sonic 06 is... Uh, has Princess Elise. That's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, so I, I wonder if this is where we sort of start to get the thing where it's like, there's a bunch of just regular humans also. Sonic the Hedgehog Dragon's Lair. That looks cool as hell. This is very, very cool. Sonic the Hedgehog fucking Alpha Squadron. Sonic the Hedgehog's platoon in the war. This is wild. Sonic the Hedgehog. Say isn't so. The return of the original Dr. Robotnik. Interesting. So I, I wonder if this is where we get... The distinction between, like, Ivo Robotnik and, like, the one who created Shadow as, like, Robotnik's father or so. I don't remember how they're connected. But, no, it was, like, Maria's grandfather who made... But there were, there were two Robotniks in Adventure 2, I think. Well, there was one and then one that they referenced. Uh-oh. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Isolation. 
Uh, not doing too good on this iceberg. Uh oh. Sonic the Hedgehog War Games? Holy shit, they're gonna nuke him. Oh my god. They really, I mean, they really went hard on this stuff. They really were like, no, we're gonna make it like deep drama. Wild. Crossover with another one of my favorite movies, War Games. Yeah, here's Super Knuckles or whatever. Alright. Now we're onto the, the Knuckles comics. Because you demanded it from the pages of Sonic, Knuckles, the Dark Legion. And we're back to our sort of older cartoony style. Knuckles, the Dark Legion. We get other echidnas, which is wild because Knuckles is the last echidna. So maybe this is a, a pre, like a, a prequel. Oh, there's a uh, Vector and Charmy. There's all of our all of our B team. Uh, and the chameleon whose name I can never remember. We have a little ant guy there, in the bottom right. More Knuckles the Dark Legion. Yeah, I bet this is a prequel. Hold on, is this changing? Number three of a three-issue miniseries. Okay, so the Dark Legion is is the miniseries. And the number of Chaos Emeralds Sonic is holding is increasing just to tell us the number. Yeah, this has got to be a prequel, right? Because Knuckles is the last echidna, and we get to call in Adventure 2, but we she's she's from back in time, right? There we go. Knuckles the echidna. Espio. Espio is the name of the chameleon. Who the fuck is that? Cause she's cool as hell. Look at that, that cyber hairlock. Oh my god. I mean, screw Knuckles. This is the best character. Does she have a gun? She has a gun. Oh my god. That's amazing. There's cool, cool echidna and old echidna. That's Robotnik's hand. I recognize that glove. Got a little ant guy, got knuckles, got our cool cyber echidna. There we go, we got the whole team. This guy, he showed up a couple times. Hold on, wait. Oh! If you put these three issues together... So it's not Robotnik, it's this, like, big robot guy. I don't know, maybe it's a robot being controlled by Robotnik, it's possible. But if you put these three issues next to each other, you get the whole... spread. That's really cool. It's like maybe the echidnas are having to to move, become nomadic. Maybe they already were nomadic, I'm not sure. Maybe having to leave uh, Flooding Island. And more. I don't know, maybe they, they could have also just totally retconned the last echidna thing. For the comics, because... Yeah, here's our... This is like Archer... Archer Hedgehog. Because this is the other... It's like slightly lighter blue than Sonic. With the, like, cowl. This is a, a different hedgehog. I wonder who that character is. We're still getting the, the sort of trail of... Hold on. 
Oh, this is another one. See how how his glove goes off the edge of the of the book. On the far left here, you can see that's the spike from his hand. So these these they were designing them to have the like full spreads that you could. Hold on. I went back too far. That you could put together. By Sonic Comics. Yeah, I don't think you have to convince this person who's who's owns this copy. Uh Charmy sobbing over the the corpse of a dead comrade. God, I love this character here on the right. This is the best character. What are these flying through the sky? It's nice to know that, yeah, and again, here we go. You can see her hair goes off the edge, and it's there on the edge of this comic. They're really, they really like doing that with Knuckles. Or with Knuckles' comics. These heads in the background, it's kind of terrifying. We've got our cowboy echidna. Alright, let's look. We got this this gray stuff in the bottom right. I wonder what that is. And it connects to this one. That's cool to see. That it's like, oh, now I can predict. That's really fun. Got some infighting. The echidnas are fighting. Uh-oh. It's frozen area being spied on by uh, Robotnik, perhaps? Oh no, this is a control center with Knuckles in the... I don't know, maybe they've stumbled into Robotnik's control center. Yeah, because this is like... They're, they're confused by this stuff. To the exotic and exciting world of Knuckles the Hedgehog. Vote for B B B Bean. Kidna's unfair, maybe. No home for hedgehogs. It's definitely some sort of civil unrest. Uh-oh. That's no good. Oh, are these are are these robotized echidnas? They certainly look like it. Knuckles 25. Gala 25th anniversary issue. Got Knuckles. And cool girl echidna. Vector making eyes at a woman. <laughs> All sorts of echidnas and creatures. It's like a, a pinball game there. Charmy's got another bee uh, with him. Well, birthday cake. Oh, guest starring Princess Sally. Sonic the Hedgehog presents Knuckles the Echidna guest starring Princess Sally. Sonic the Hedgehog presents Knuckles the Echidna. Who is Monk, and how is he connected to Nux's past? I love that we have the abbreviation Nux for Knuckles. 
It's amazing. This is just J. Jonah Jameson. Um... The Hunter and the Hunted. Uh-oh. J. Jonah Jameson is trying to murder Knuckles. Open season. Ugh! Oh, that's terrifying. Alright, I mean, that's... We're caught up with Knuckles the Echidna there. What about the Sonic Super Special? Sonic vs. Knuckles Battle Royale, 48-page special. Sonic Super Special Brave New World. Why did they give the dragon a bra? Why did they give the dragon a bra? They also gave her a nose ring. Which is like, I mean, the nose ring's not bad. The bra is strange, because now you're... Before you were like, yeah, it's a dragon. It doesn't have, like, secondary sexual characteristics. And now you're like, but we do have to put a bra on the dragon with no secondary sexual characteristics. <laughs> it could be a saddle, or like a harness or something. It looks so much like a bra. Like, a saddle you would think would, would go around the midsection, but I, I don't know. They don't follow normal animal rules, because it's Sonic, so... It's possible it's some sort of saddle or harness. I don't know. They were they were riding her without one uh, previously, so I don't know. It's possible it's, it's some sort of saddle. Sonic Firsts. Here we go. I think this is the one we read with four selected issues. Sonic Super Special Return of the King. We have Pseudo Sonic. We have some sort of lizardized Archibald. Huh. Sonic Kids. Uh oh. It's Baby Sonic. What if it was Baby Sonic? I also love that Baby Archibald is here, despite the fact that he's, like, way older than the rest of them. They're like, oh yeah, but they were all just babies at the same time, it's fine. Sonic 50 Director's Cut? What is this? What is this render of Eggman? What? Oh my goodness. Wild. Oh, we got we got some, some humans and some shadowy figures on the right. Is that that's? I don't think that's Robotnik. I don't see the mustache. But it's, just, it's the right color scheme. There's Amy in a, a very anime style with a rose. Wait, hold on. Is that Sally in Knight's outfit? Or is that a... No, it's like a Sailor Moon outfit. Okay. I thought maybe it was, it was Knight's uh, outfit from Knight's Into Dreams. Not just some... Uh... They're back! Sonic Kids. Yeah, Baby Tails just look so so goofy. Sonic Kids is back, baby. Oh goodness, crossover chaos. Oh shit! Oh shit, I'm sorry. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It's crossover chaos with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I thought this was just going to be a character from Archie, like the Archie Archie comics. But no, it's from the Archie comics Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Sonic 
It's like more of a like a Sally and girl echidna focused. I wish I knew her name because I don't want to keep calling her girl echidna. Cool cyber echidna. Uh, hold on, let me rotate my head. Hey kids, Sonic here to present you a Sonic and Knuckles story that will be sure to leave you beside yourself. Here we go, this is the Sonic Adventure. Uh, official adaptation. I love Knuckles' Lego shoes. They're so silly. Now that's an Eggman! Look at that stash! Oh, baby. Some sort of mirror world movie. Wild. Alright, there's some other series. We got Sonic Blast. Oh no, this is Sonic 3D Blast! This is where he has to get all the flickies. I hated playing this. It's the official adaptation of Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic the Hedgehog, in your face! I've always said Sonic has a big mouth, but that's ridiculous. Sonic Live? Oh my god. It's so real, you'll think you're part of the adventure. The last game cartridge hero. Why, why are his eyes like that? Why is he staring into my soul? Sonic Quest? The Death Egg Saga? This is, is this maybe the, the first three games? Yeah, Sonic Quest number two of the three issue miniseries. Or what? No, the Death Egg was purely Sonic 3. Yeah, and then Sonic and Knuckles on the same team at the end. We got Sonic and Knuckles. A Sonic and Knuckles Mecha Madness special. Yeah, so there's Mecha Sonic and Mecha Knuckles in the background. We got Bunny Rabot. We got Sally. Tails is in there. Sonic the Hedgehog's Buddy Tails. Another three issue miniseries. He's riding Tails on a Whales. Looks like a kangaroo back there. Some robo dogs terrorizing him. Oh, hold on, I just realized. This one is drooling oil. That's kind of fun. Let's see, we got a robo croc, who I believe we, we saw the face of in another one. Kind of that's a fucking tank. That's just a regular fucking tank. <laughs> that is a military tank. Um, it's not even cartoon. It's just a tank. <laughs> Sega Game Gear adaptation. Sega Game Gear adaptation. Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. Yeah, so here's the character that I thought was maybe a proto big. I don't know if I believe that anymore. But it's the right color scheme, got the hat, got the gloves, got the belt. Just a very different role. So I wonder if they're related in some way, even if they're not, like, the same character. Here we go, we got Princess Sally. Finally getting her own comic.
Just hang gliding in. There's our skunk character. A very... This is like a regular hedgehog. This is just like a normal hedgehog. Like, not a Sonic the Hedgehog. This is just a regular hedgehog. Got a platypus back here? Oh, hell yeah. An armadillo? Uh-oh. Sally's fighting herself. I got an old-school Eggman. Destruction. Amazing. That was incredible. Well, I think what we're going to do is uh, let's take a quick break because uh, I'm going to run to the restroom. Uh, and then uh, I figure we'll jump in. We'll play some Rystar to finish out the, the series, I guess. So let's take a let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll read the manual for Rystar and we'll give it a go. Uh, but I will see you all shortly. Stick around, grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever you need. I'm going to run an ad, help support the channel. I will see you all shortly. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around during the break. Uh, let's, let's take a look at Rystar. I know very little about this. Uh, this is one that I had to unlock through a lot of, a lot of opening and closing the other games. So this is not one that I played as a child. Uh, I did not know it was part of this bundle until I was looking up how to unlock all of the games. Uh, so I, I'm very unfamiliar with Rystar. Uh, Rystar will grab, hold, climb walls, and make many other unique moves when you press the B button for a long period of time. Press the control stick or control pad in the direction Rystar is facing when hanging onto the star handle. Then Rystar will start to turn and launch up into the air. You can also take a control pad to move, B and X button to jump, A button to grab. Rystar was released late in the Genesis era. This game is considered a masterpiece. Cute little Rystar surprised many with his mighty power by stretching his arms to grab onto walls, pillars, and even enemies. So this was late in the Genesis era, so this would have been after some of the Sonics. Save the home system. In a faraway galaxy is a solar system filled with mysterious planets and wonderful creatures. All has been peaceful there for millennia, until now. The space pirate, Greedy, is a tyrant leader of an evil space army. He's decided to take over this beautiful solar system and make it the new headquarters for his growing army. Greedy's devious plot is to brainwash the leaders of every planet and force them to do his bidding. Even the legendary hero of the solar system was captured, and is now Greedy's prisoner. The planet Flora makes a last, desperate plea for help. The space hero's son, Rystar, answers the distress signal. Although young and inexperienced, Rystar is valiant, determined, and the solar system's only hope. Rystar must travel from planet to planet and free the brainwashed leaders from the villain's control, and ultimately conquer Greedy. If the young hero is successful, he will restore peace to the once happy worlds of his home system, and finally free his father. Here's how to turn on the Genesis. Let's see. Here's controls. D-pad to move. A and C make right star jump. B makes him grab. Let's see. Title screen. Choose stuff, game options, two difficulties, uh, password for special game functions, see page 12. The moves of a star. Rystar may be small, but don't let his size fool you. Because he's a star, he has an enormous supply of energy. Learn all his moves, because sooner or later, you'll need every one of them. Uh, jump, press the jump button. Grab, hold the D-pad toward the object or creature you want to grab, and press the grab button. Throw, press the grab button to throw an object. Creatures can't be thrown. Up or down a ladder. It's just D-pad up or down. Left or right for a horizontal ladder. 
jump to let go. Wall climb. Use this special move to climb up walls. Grab the surface of the wall and press the grab button repeatedly. Rise star inches his way up. Press the D-pad in a diagonal direction while pressing the grab button for best results. Level descend. To move from a level, such as from a tree branch to a lower one, press D-pad down. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of these. Hang. Rise star can hang from and even be towed by some airborne objects and creatures. Grab the object creature and hold the grab button. Fast swimmer air float. Press and hold the jump button. A pulley. Hold both the grab and jump buttons. And then up or down. Meteor strike. This is the most powerful of Rystar's special moves. See page 10 using the star handle. Oh my goodness. Point total, gold stars, we got lives. Gold stars. These stars represent the number of times Rystar can be hit by an opponent or an object for each life. The most Rystar can have at one time is four stars in a normal game or two in a hard game. If Rystar is hit by an opponent or an object with one star left, a new life is used to continue the game. In each normal game, Rystar has five lives. For a hard game, he has two lives. He got points. Rystar's power ups. Okay. There are several useful items to help Rystar on his journey. Find them in treasure chests and holes. By grabbing some branches or walls, Rystar might even be able to shake some of these hidden valuables into the open. The little star, the yellow and black one gives you an extra life, the black and white one helps you through traps. A restore star adds one more hit to your gold star count. The silver star resets your gold star count to four hits. It's already full, don't pick any stars up. Yellow jewel is worth points. Here we go, using the star handle. Star handles are very handy for getting you where you've got to go. Jump up and grab one and hold the grab button. If you're facing right, hold the D-pad right. Hold the D-pad left if you're facing left. Rystar starts spinning faster and faster. When you let go of the grab button, Rystar becomes the shooting star and starts zooming around. Press the D-pad in any direction to control his flight. So why zoom? That depends on where you are. You can use the star handle to do a meteor strike and bump greedy's creatures off the screen. It's a lot faster than attacking them one at a time. You can also explore dangerous places safely by spinning off the star handle. Just be careful where you land. At the end of a round, spin off the star handle to zoom to the next planet. Finally, you can go to secret bonus stages by spinning off special star handles if you can find them. Bonus stages. Every bonus stage is unique. Each has a treasure for you to find within a certain time limit, but the way to reach this treasure is different in each stage. There you go, the password. If you reach a certain stage, you will find a screen with several passwords. When you find it, write them down. Go to the password option in the options screen. Use the jump button to enter a letter and the grab button to erase a letter. Press button A, B, or C when the yellow return arrow next to end is highlighted to erase that letters. When finished, highlight end and press the jump button or the start button to return the options menu. After you finish a level, the clear bonus screen appears. Points are under listed. Round clear bonus. Give you points every time you finish adventuring. Treasure bonus. For each treasure, you find in a treasure chest. Technical bonus. The less you're touched by creatures or dangerous objects. And secret bonus. Grab anything you can. I've given secret treasures to cash in on points. Uh, when all of our stars' lives are used up, the continue screen appears. Continues are listed at the top of the screen. Game ends when you run out of continues. Rystar's Worlds. Planet Flora, level 1. The creatures here have one goal in mind. Stop you from leaving their world. Birds dive bomb from the sky, and sneaky salamanders try to jump on you. Use the natural elements to help you clear this haunted glen. Planet Undertow. Castle towers appear in the sand, but you won't be in the desert for long. Electric eels, poisonous toads, and even giant seahorses are pretty, but don't let them get too close. Planet Scorch. Hope you like it hot. Scorch is an unstable planet, with volcanoes spewing rocks everywhere. Greedy's rovers have found a way to control the fire on the planet, and have set a number of traps for you. Be careful where you step. Planet Sonata. Welcome to Sonata, a planet of musical wonder. Ancient magicians created musical instruments to play perpetually. Strange birds try to communicate to you. How can you give them what they want? 
drums, horns, and guitars try to enchant you with their music. But don't be fooled. What is this? Who are you? A weird bird. Planet Freon. It's winter on Freon, but don't plan on playing in the snow. Even in this frozen wonderland, danger awaits. Greedy's forces heard you were coming, so they decided to make your next step difficult. Literally. A young Freonian challenges you to a snowball fight. Don't let him win. Planet Automation. Robots everywhere. The planet's giant robot factory is making a new army for Greedy. Robot worms and flying laser shooters won't let you pass by easily. Giant clawed robots and missile launching turtles await your arrival. Greedy Space City. What adventure awaits you in this mysterious castle in the sky? Play this level to find out the fate of Rystar's home system. Uh-oh. Hints from the heavens. Watch the demo for hints on gameplay. Explore everything. Grab every wall. There are many hidden treasures to find. Move slowly. Except for the bonus stages, there is no time limit. Rushing through the stage quickly to get to the treasure might lead to costly mistakes. Patience pays. Use all star handles. There are reasons why these are located where they are. When you discover how to reach the treasure in a particular bonus stage, try to improve your time when you play this bonus stage again. You can always do it faster. Learn to use power-ups and other items strategically. Timing their use is important. It's a little notes page. Also available on Genesis, Sonic and Knuckles. Alright, so let's see. Let me just remind myself of which of my buttons. B and X are jump, and A is grab. So I'll use B to jump and A to grab. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. In a far-off galaxy. An evil alien force is at work. The evil tyrant Greedy has corrupted the planet leaders and enslaved the populace. This is actually rad. Even the legendary hero has been captured. A desperate plea for help is made. God, the text is going so fast. The animation on this is really fun. And answered by the hero's own son. This music rules. Holy shit! This music rocks! That's really fun! Oh my god. Let me watch the demo a little bit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I figured that's probably what they meant by horizontal ladder. Oh, this is weird. This is very cool. Oh, that's... Okay, cool. Let's go that option. Okay, cool, we're on normal. Play with me. Oh, this is so 90s. Okay, so that's this grab. Kind of sling him around. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is weird to control. Isn't there a way to, like, shimmy up? I don't know. Oh, that looks dangerous. Just climb over that. God! Oh, hey, there's just a life in there. It's good that these are standable. Get out of here. Why did it want me to go down instead of up? Oh. It's just bad. <laughs> it's just full of spikes and shit. Oh, no! I got burrs on me. Oh, it's a star handle. Music is really fun. Uh oh. I was hoping I could, I could grab his face. God, <laughs> fucking dead ride star does not look <laughs> great. Oh, we can go up. Theory, at least. I don't. There we go, okay. I just have to hit him at the same time. I gotta grab him, of course. I don't know what to do. Where do I go? Try to beat the the boss? But I don't know how. Where are you, my dude? Like, I assume I have to grab it. Cause I don't know anything else. I don't have any other moves. And jump is not gonna do it. How do I fight this guy? Oh. That did it. That works. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Okay. I gotta hold when I'm using this. Dark Woods. This is interesting. This is fun. Oh, I see. 
see you little, little salamander. Get out of here. Music in this game is fun. Right. Oh, how do I get up there? I want to get up there. I really like the music of this so far. It's fun. Oh, okay. So I don't think I can sling these guys into each other. Make our way over this way. We only got one little star left. Oh, thank goodness. Now we have two. Drop down here. Oh no, that's probably best for getting back up. I'm just trying to I'm trying to do the wall climb. Ah, there we go. There we go. We'll do that now. No! My yellow gem. God, I I love the like rest our death pose. It's really funny. Oh, I can't even use that. Of course. Let's try going across the top. It's just a gem down there, it's just score. Let me get you! Let me get you! There we go. Oh, I could have held on to that to fly. That's what they were talking about. Okay. Meteor Mash. get back up there. There we go. What? Guess I can't get out there. Uh-oh. It's dark. I can't see. They made it dark. I guess it's the dark forest. It makes sense that it'd be dark. What is this? It had blue, blue on me. Oh god! All right. I think this is ending a lot of lots. We. There we go. That's the hype bonus I wanted. Boss Arena, Raiho is coming. Okay, so it is like an Act 1, Act 2 boss. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Okay, it's bright now at least. Okay, I don't like that. No! Fuck! Fuck. Okay, I have one move. Am I damaging him when I do that? I think so. Let's try this again. Cool. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Basically have to be right under him, I think. Oh, he comes down, okay. There we go. No! Fucking okay, ice cream. No! Ugh. I was really close. This music is really good, though. I'm gonna have to look up, like, the Rystar OST. Because this is really fun. Okay, don't get hit. There you go. Spend some of the Ice Storm. He's pink now. Ice storm. One, two, three. There we go. Hell yeah. All right. This is fun. I like this game. Next planet, please. Oh, listen to that. Holy shit. Oh my god, this game rules. Shit. Round two, Planet Under- I love how 90s this frame is. It's so good. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Water's filling up. I can't jump. Uh-oh. Okay, so I naturally float up. No, get off me. Oh, it's dark down here. It's kind of scary. This is really cool as an idea. Having it, like, get darker the more you go down. The controlling is a little weird, but... Honestly, not in a way that I hate. It's like classic Genesis jank. This is really fun. Oh my god, I'm really glad I saved this for last. This is, out of all the games we've played so far, this is maybe my favorite. And maybe it's just because I'm not familiar with it, so like... Yeah. 
So, like, I don't have the existing, like, hang-ups about it. But this is really fun to play. How did I never know this game existed? I mean, it's because it was hidden behind secrets in the unlock system. But this is really fun. So, for, for everything I do with my capture card, I do have some latency. Um, which can make controlling it interesting. Um, I'm trying to get you! Let me get you! There we go. Oh, I got both of them. And latency hasn't been the cause of all of my woes. Sorry, I just got so wrapped up in playing Rystar that I was like, <laughs> just really stoked. Um, but I can imagine, like I'm having a little bit of, I'm struggling a little bit with this because latency, just by the nature of how I'm capturing it for, for display. I think if I hooked my GameCube up just to a regular monitor, um, just directly instead of running it through my capture card, I would have uh, just the best time playing through this. I mean, I'm already having a great time uh, with the with the delay. And it's also been really generous with the checkpointing. Like this has been really, really kind to me. Uh-oh. Not that way. Get rid of the... Get rid of the luster. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. But yeah, the checkpointing's been really generous. Oh. Let me check this out. I'm sure that's not a thing I can break through. I mean, there's like a secret tunnel. Well, that was foolish. Little fish flopping around out of water. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Please. Oh my god. I almost died there, swimming into the spikes. Uh-oh, mini-boss. That's a fun little segment. Uh-oh. I don't like those. This is a, a neat idea for a mini boss. It's like just a, a like a hazard, a field hazard. Get out of here. Do you gotta be careful though? Oh. Star post. Can I jump vertically out? There we go. Oh, well. <laughs> Not quite at the right point there. Lost Palace. All sorts of creatures down there. 
All old frog lizards. These guys are so cute. Okay, they like kind of hatch out of there. Okay, cool. And they want to murder me? Cool. So I can break their like spawning nests. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Cool. Fucking listen to this. Oh, that fucking, that thing stuck to me, killed me. I just got so into the fucking music. It's so good. Oh, yes. Please, continue. Oh, God, it gives me five continues to start? Holy hell, that's incredible. This game is so forgiving. Which is not what I would expect for games of this, this era. There was a big emphasis on things being really hard to increase, like, playtime. Especially for, like, the, the kind of score attack vibe. Ah, damn. But, like, listen to this music! They really did so much with the... With what they ha- oh, maybe I gotta kill all the guys. Like, this weird fucking breakdown in the middle of it? That's... What a wild thing. I guess it was- it was really, like, sort of the anything goes. Okay, so I gotta... No, not that. the thing. There we go. Now I can go down. Especially because, like, now in games you get punished for, like, doing weird shit instead of doing marketable shit. So, like, it's really cool to see, like, here's some weird shit. Oh, god. Well, good thing I have so many fucking lives. No, you can get out of here. Okay. Now we get this. Like, what a weird, like, mini boss. This is so cool as a as a like stage hazard. Yes, gems. Oh, I will stretch. Thank you. And also, like fucking not making me. Oh, here we go. water current. Oh, fuck. Okay. So when it's super strong, I can't grab. So I should grab now. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta go across, across. No! What? Up here. And I like that they put the debris so that you can like see a direction. Okay, 
Go, 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 go. There we go. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. Like, what a weird little game. And a, and a delight. A delight to have in class. here and wait for the water to come up. Oh, I have to beat all of them. Oh. Okay. Nice. Got a two for there. Whoa, that was close. Uh, you know what? I thought they were maybe being a bit self-aggrandizing when they said it is considered a masterpiece. I consider this game a masterpiece. This, this game is fun as hell. Like, I, I... I apologize if I don't have a ton of commentary on this stuff. I'm just really excited to play it. This is so fun! <laughs> Like, I don't even care that I'm dying all that much. This is, this is really fun to play. Okay. Okay, let me... Well... I gotta clear those guys, and then I gotta, I gotta destroy their spawner. So let me get you... Get you, get you. There we go. Okay, now I can take care of the little seahorses. Oh, I don't even have to. Cool. And I'm not gonna lie, not having to hold my fucking breath is really nice. Not having to do the Sonic thing is real nice. Like, having a character that actually swims is really tight. Give me Jim. Ah! They tricked me! There's a seahorse in there! Getting another... I don't think I will. No. I gotta grab the... Fuck! Okay. Yeah. Le much less forgiving. Go, 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 go. Oh, do I have to dip in there? I have to dip in there. go. There's less of an indicator here. It's entirely the sound, really. Alright. Oh, fuck! The bubbles push me! Oh, no. Didn't make it. Go back, grab it. Fuck. Go, 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 go. Not enough. I think it's when I hear that sound I need to start going. 
Yeah. So I'm not even gonna get close here. Fuck. Alright, let's wait for another one. I didn't I didn't even hear the sound. Hold on. I I literally I, I wasn't even getting the audio. I all I could hear is the music. A oh, weird little I'm assuming that was a bug. Okay, it is going now. Go, 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 go. Dip down. Fuck! No! So close. I just can't make it. Okay, hold on. If I, if I jump, I can immediately dismount. That might help some. No, I don't know if I can reach that. And I can't, like, grab... Like, I can't grab anything up here. There's nothing grabbable. Right? None of this is... Huh. I'm not missing any of Rystar's special moves, am I? Hold on. I'm literally gonna look this up. Rystar Water Tunnel. Uh... Uh, stuck. Do not. Here we go. I found a walkthrough. I found a walkthrough for Rystar. Uh, Undertow. This is area two. Uh, Uh, something, something, bonus round. Here we go. Uh, as soon as you enter the next tunnel, swim right as fast as you can. When you get to a turbine at the end of the tunnel, hit it to smash it and swim up. It's possible to duck into an alcove on the floor or ceiling of the tunnel, but that's too slow. It's much faster and easier to just grab the turbine by the horns. So this just says go. Just go and you can get it. Which is wild. I mean, I'll try it. Oh my god! I That's what I was forgetting. There's literally a fast swim button. Well, that would have saved me a lot of heartache. But that's my fault for not remembering the manual. We read the manual. <laughs> we read the manual when it said. Alright, that's fine. I will absolutely spend a continue on learning that information. I do like that it's the little enemies in the shape of the number. That's really cute. Alright. Let's go down here. I know all your tricks now. Here we 
There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, this... I think he might have a limit on how many he can spawn. There we go. The limit is four. Okay, we're doing the Nautilus. There we go. Yeah, this game's fun as hell. Absolutely, by far. I like, sorry, Sonic. By far, my best, my favorite game in this package. I think this is the best game in the package. And it's not even a Sonic game. Well, that was foolish. Also, just the, the like, <laughs> the dead Rise Star sprite is so funny. It is strange that Rystar has the inclination to floating. Like, it makes sense, because that's that's what happens, but it's weird that I have to hold down or he just defaults to swimming upward. Okay. Okay, so when he does charge up, I will get knocked. Even if I'm fast swimming. Cool. Alright, we got one down there that we gotta go back and get. It does have a little bit of the Donkey Kong Country problem where you can't see, like, really far below you or above you. Get out of here. Then there's a wizard one, hey? Yeah, there we go. Hey guys, over here! Over here, please. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, it's straight up that one. There we go. It is nice that all the spawns die when you defeat the spawner. Okay, Nautilus 2. Sir, can I interest you in a death? What? That hasn't happened before. No, that's fine. I'll get my get my health back. Okay, this first one is a trap. I know that much. this time. There we go. There we go. Stuck in his shell. Uh, there's like a little star guy there that I don't like. I'm 
jump over him. There we go. I'm hoping I can get a life up here or something. Oh, but the gem. I want to jump over this guy because that he's gonna hurt. Do they have a spawner up here? Yes, they do. Ah, fuck! Didn't realize I was so low in life. Ugh. Oh! That's just the end? Boss Arena, OSAT attack. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, it's like a hammerhead shark guy. Okay. Do anything with these? Okay, he's creating debris. But like, listen to this music. This is really fun. Okay, those just blow up. Okay, I'm trying to grab him before he can do a thing, but he's not. I'm just bumping into him. Alright, let's try this again. I got continues, so. Not super worried about just trial and erroring it. Okay, well, I just walked into him. I didn't grab him there. Or swam into him, I suppose. Okay, good there. He's gonna spawn bombs. Let's get away from those. Okay, good. There we go. I can grab him from. Above is pretty good. Okay. The water is reducing, so we're not gonna have as much. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. That's kind of insane. Can we come back the other way? Nice. Uh oh. Narrowing it down. Okay, I can grab him when he's on the swim. Oh, it's getting rid of the plugs. Okay, that's what they are. They're corks. Or whatever. Alright. Avoid. Only got one hit left. Fuck. Don't get bombed. I can't believe that shouldn't have worked. Done? Get out of here. Get out of here, Dorcas. Alright. Whee! Next planet! This is fun! I'm really liking Rystar. If I find out a way to... Like, if I can get a, another monitor in here or something so I can watch without latency, I might I might do a full playthrough of, Run, of Rystar on the channel. Oh, what a delightful conclusion to playing to playing this. Round three planet scorch. Oh every time I see that frame, it's so aggressively 90s. Oh shit, they're like laser volcanoes. Okay. I don't know how to break this. Oh. I didn't realize I could go down there. Get out of here. Okay, so the levers activate the, like, fire traps. 
and those guys have to be destroyed from beneath. Oh, is that an extra life? Or is that just a statue of Rystar? It's just an object, I guess. Oh, okay, so I can I can have it trap. Well, I'm reaching my hands into the fire, so I'm gonna die anyway. But I can have it trap the statue instead of me. Okay. That's fun, that's a new old mechanic. Get out of here. You too. Give me a statue. That guy was like shooting stuff at me. Those are gonna turn on. So does that just disintegrate or does it? No, okay, I have to actively attack it. Right, let's go. Okay, that's lava down there. Cool. fucking two continues still. Oh my god. I have 15 lives left. I like this too where it's not like you don't have to like jump on the enemies or like attack them in a certain way. It's all about grabbing. There's, there's like one mechanic to, well. Uh. But there's one mechanic to the whole thing. Okay. This is gonna be rough. There we go. Okay, you can just kind of trigger it. Yeah, I do love his little idle sprite. It's very fun. I like this character. I I have had no knowledge of this character, and I'm already attached to it. Oh, okay, so he's triggering it just by bumping into it. Alright, now let's not go down. Well, okay. Maybe just not there. Because that's on fire. Okay, we got another statue. Oh, fuck. Well. Now we know what that's for. This is really fun. Yeah. He's cool. He's a cool dude. No, don't grab the enemy. Alright. Bump the fire. Off. Let it go one more cycle. Ah, I got too eager there. Okay, so you can you can grab the bird there. Is the other thing. Maybe fly up above that area. Okay, that's That's a bit cheap. The first when I first tried that, I didn't have any issues not getting hit by that guy. I don't know. Could also be a latency thing, or just a skill issue. Get out of here. Uh, 
I wonder what speedruns of this game look like. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit of a skill issue. I'll accept that. Okay, so if I... Ah, I was hoping I... Oh, God! Oh, God! Don't dip me in the fire! What the hell, man? Oh. I did not hit the jump button early enough. That dude's an asshole! He's trying to dip me in the lava? What the heck, dude? See, like, now it feels like I'm hitting him every time. And I feel like I'm dropping down at the same point. But yeah, I wonder what a speedrun of this would look like. Because this feels very, like, there's definitely an intended path, right? Which is the one I'm doing. Uh, however poorly. I don't actually need to grab the thing there. Okay. Fuck. Go, 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 go. Okay. No, I'm, we're good. Well, I still got hit by the fucking guy. But there is a way you can grab the you can grab the ladder and not get dipped into the fire. Hot damn. What? That's that's new. That ha that had never happened before. Nothing had ever fallen on me from there before. That's wild. All right. So we need to rescue it from the first trap, but not from the second. Get out of there. Get the fire. Clear it and go. Okay. Oh fuck, I forgot. Okay, it goes up and down. I'm gonna stay here for one more cycle. So it hits me on screwed. I apologize for the flashing. That's one thing I'm not super stoked about. In this game. Okay. I definitely don't want to go down. I was gonna say, because there's almost certainly fire there. Well, I'm not getting that star post. I wonder if damage boosting is, like, the, the tech. Like, if that's just what... What the speedrunners do. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. I don't know how you're... I mean, I guess you can... Maybe run? Maybe if you, if you get all those grabs perfect. Do I have to start the level over? Let it continue. Do I have to start it entirely over? I think I do, yeah. Oh, that's, that's rough. Yeah. Let me give it... I'll give it a little more and then we'll, we'll call it for today. But this has been really fun. I feel a little bad saying that my favorite day of of playing this game is the last one. Uh, but... Fucking get out of here. I think we just, we just got the... My favorite content. We just happened to save for last. Which is fantastic. Because this is, this has really just been a, a blessing. Ah! I wanted to grab the bird. Alright. Let's call it here. This is really fun. Maybe I will play, I will do a long play of Rise Star in the future. Um, if I can, if I can get it to be a little bit. Oh, he's invisible. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Um, maybe I'll play more Rise Star in the future, because this is really, really fun.
Um, but that's going to be it for for today's Way Back Wednesday. I, I will figure out uh, what I'm going to do if I'm going to uh, take a, a week or so to find something else or if I have something in the on the back burner um, that I can just do for next Wednesday. But I'm very excited to do more of these because I have really, really enjoyed playing through uh, playing through all these games. As frustrating as some of them were and getting to read all the comics and seeing all that sort of stuff has just been a... a a beautiful little uh little experience so thank you everyone for coming and hanging out uh if you are interested in seeing more of me this week uh regardless of what my schedule says uh i am going to be playing more death mark at uh 1 p.m eastern on saturday uh, i will get a tweet up correcting that but we are we are moving it to saturday with just some scheduling conflicts it was going to be friday it'll probably be friday going forward just this friday was weird so uh saturday this week we are going to do more death mark with shu um and then we'll we'll see what happens next week i'll get my schedule up on on the sunday so let me send you all over to let's send you over to what is fion doing i haven't rated fion in a while Doing some wild ones. Oh, they're doing kebab chefs. Absolutely. Let me send you all over there. So thank you all for coming. Uh, I will see you on Saturday. Otherwise, I will see you uh, next Monday, most likely. Uh, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Bye, everyone.